Hey guys, it's Daryl. Happy Sunday. Uh, I haven't been watching much of the impeachment stuff. It's been the weekend and I've been enjoying a little Christmas shopping. But I did some thinking and uh, I, I know you conservatives think that uh, it's all a hoax and a witch hunt and uh, those damn liberals are just still upset about 2016. Just can't get over it. They're all butt hurt about Hillary. You know, and they're making up anything to to get a good to give a good man some some trouble. You know, so what? You know, so, hey, you know, if uh, the president of Ukraine had a little information, possibly correct, whatever, if he had anything to to contribute about some wrongdoing, some stealing or whatever, some misuse of tax dollars. By uh, this this Hunter Biden guy, well, I mean it's his right to to go find that and bring it to light to the American people, by God. But you might want to think about this. Um, in the future, two thousand twenty, two thousand twenty four, two thousand twenty eight, two thousand thirty two. By two thousand twenty eight, two thousand thirty two, there there will be. Another Democratic president. Damn it. You know, we just can't get, you know, can't really, get, can't really deny that. I, I mean, there's still probably a good 50% at least of this damn country that's liberal. Or Democrats at least. So sooner or later, there's going to be another Democratic president. And he's going to run against the Republican, inevitably. And what if... What if his opponent, good, a good, solid Republican, I, I don't know who might be running. What if it's uh, Donald Trump Jr. in the future, in 2028? He's running against Donald Trump Jr., right? And suppose this Democratic president, this Democrat president, he finds out maybe, maybe Pakistan, maybe Afghanistan, maybe India, um, Iraq, I don't know, one of those countries, maybe one of those countries got a little, a little knowledge of some misdoings by good old Donald Trump Jr. You know, maybe, uh, the president of Pakistan has a little evidence or something. Maybe, hey, maybe it's true, maybe it's not. But, hey, if it could help this Democrat president beat down Donald Trump Jr., then he should use it. You know, pull pull this Pakistan president into the into the election. So this Democrat president goes and gets this info, has this Pakistan president say, "We're investigating Donald Trump Jr. because he was here spreading his money around, uh, buying up buying up land, nukes, uh, laying landmines. I don't know, doing something." And we're going to investigate it, you know, and that's the end of Donald Trump Jr.'s campaign, you know, it, right or wrong, even if it's a, a total lie, you know. And you know what? Donald Trump Jr. won't have any recourse, none at all. Why? Because his daddy got away with doing the same thing back in 2019, you know, his daddy pulled the Ukrainian president in. Hey, you, Ukrainian president, bribe him. Get it, just get him to say this sentence. We're investigating Hunter Biden, Hunter Biden, Hunter Biden Jr. Just get him to say that sentence and we'll give him anything he wants. Just get him to say that sentence. Hey, and good old, good old Trump got away with it. So, hey, you know, now it's, it's, uh, we call president, uh, president, you know, uh, you know, legal terms. It's part of part of the law now. Any president could do it. So our Democrat president, whoever he may be, in 2028, gets the Pakistan president to say, we're investigating Donald Trump Jr. Even though there's might, you know, of course he didn't buy any atomic bombs or plant landmines or whatever, but hey, who cares, man? You know, he, he might have, who knows? Who's to say he didn't? <laughs>
right? So fair is fair, you know? So in 2028, this Democrat president's going to win re-election. Why? Because of good old Trump right now getting away with bringing the Ukraine in. Basically, uh, this is stuff that would would have made our, our founding fathers puke, puke all over their their uh, <laughs> over their single shot rifles, their musket loaders. Make they puke all over their musket loaders. John Hancock would have got nauseous right on the right on the Declaration of Independence if he ever knew the shit that Donald Trump Jr. Donald Trump is trying to get away with right now. How do you think Ronald Reagan would have felt? Seriously, you know, you remember that? Uh, Tear down that wall, Mr. Gorbachev. It was Gorb? Gorb? Was it Gorby? Right? Tear down that wall, Mr. Gorbachev. You know, he didn't. He didn't have any uh, love for Russia, the Soviet Union. Uh, I imagine. He wouldn't have looked too highly on good old Donald Trump Jr. pulling in a former Soviet country into our elections. Do you think you really th you think Reagan would have done that? You think Reagan would have? Yeah, you think Reagan would have gone to Russia? Who did Reagan run against? I can't remember now. Ah, oh, shit! I wish I could remember. Um, you think Reagan would have done that? I don't think so. I think Reagan would have sooner. Would it, he would have sooner took a bullet to the head, or did he? No, that was to his shoulder. Anyway, just some thoughts. Once you set a president, precedent, precedent in legal terms, you know, in the future, it's it's gonna what it's gonna do is gonna it's gonna corrode the constitution. It's gonna corrode the basic foundation of our democracy. Is what it's going to do. I know you guys don't look at it that way now. You know, you love Trump and you want him to win. But in the end, it's not going to be good for Democrats or Republicans. You see what I'm saying? Because in 2028, 2032, it's going to be a Democratic president doing that to a Republican. And I guarantee you guys aren't going to feel too good about that when, when, they, when you know, a Democrat tries to pull in some China tries to pull in Taiwan, tries to pull in Colombia, Bolivia, whatever. But hey, once Donald Trump gets away with it, you know, once it's a set as a precedent in, in history, I guess it's, you know, anybody can do it. And then it's going to come back and actually it's going to bite us all in the ass is what it's going to do. Because then other countries are going to elect our presidents. You know, other countries are going to be the ones choosing our presidents. They're going to choose who to help, who not to help. Who's what president will benefit them, not us. You see where I'm going with this? You think the Ukraine wants us to have the best president possible? You think Russia wants us to have the best president possible? I don't think so. You think China wants us to have the best president possible? Probably not. That's what's happening right now. When Donald Trump pulls in another country, in effect, other people, other countries are determining who's going to govern us. We're giving up our right. We're giving up our right to choose our own president. We're giving up our most basic, most loved part of our democracy. And that's all I got to say for today. Think about it.